you're here for a video on how YouTube slowly destroyed my YouTube career and a lot of the recent events that have been going on. So stay tuned for that. And I would appreciate it if you would like and share. The liking and sharing ain't gonna do anything because YouTube's not gonna share this video anyways. Would you click subs? Well, you know what? Subscribing doesn't do anything either. So what's the point in asking you to do that? You know what? Let's just start the video. I think we all accept that YouTube does a lot of grimy stuff behind the scenes. But recently, a lot of this stuff has come to the forefront with the Keemstar and H3H3 feud. Now, if you don't know what happened between them, it's basically two grown men with millions of subscribers uh, talking smack about each other, and basically they hate each other, so they are going after each other on a social media known as Twitter, and quite possibly other social medias. I apologize, I don't keep up with uh, two grown men having a mudsling contest. I'm not into politics. Eventually, what came of this is that sponsors got involved, and so sponsors like Old Spice and G Fuel were dropped from these two individuals, and they lost millions in sponsorship deals. YouTube stepped in and said, would you guys please stop this because it's setting a very negative precedence. Now recently, It's a Gundam was attacked by Pokimane for having a sponsor that would sponsor him because he said some bad things about Pokemon. Objectively true, but negative in nature. And so Pokimane basically got his sponsorship revoked also. The same Twitch streamer who accidentally exposed pornography to her whole stream uh, apparently got somebody else's sponsor removed. What a world we live in. Potentially the worst timeline, right? Twitch has been dealing with a lot of negative stuff as well, like Twitch clips with people having background music playing, getting them demonetized. Because potentially a company can copyright claim that, citing that it's their work. And absolutely true, it is their work. But is that streamer hosting that music with the intention of getting people to come to their stream to exclusively listen to that music? Yeah, maybe. Maybe there's like 2 or 3% of Twitch that does that. Uh, but for the most part, most people just play games in the background, right? And then they have some chill music going. I'm not saying that it's right, because it's not, and this is exactly what's going to happen. But if you get copyright struck three times on Twitch, you get your channel DMCA removed. Okay, so three strikes, you're out. So if you have to have a bunch of clips with that and there's companies copyright striking your channel, uh, you have to manually delete the clips. But unlike YouTube, there is no bulk way to delete these clips. So you have to go in one by one. So if you happen to have streamed for the last five years every single day for several hours and you have several clips, hmm, not going to happen, is it? So that's really crappy. One thing that recently happened that came, it, it came to a boiling point. It really was the straw that broke the camel's back. And that was Keemstar posting a video that had been removed, talking about H3H3, I believe. And he had edited it, he had removed a lot of stuff. And uh, YouTube basically said, Keemstar, you're not gonna make two weeks worth of money because of this. You're doing things that are against our TOS, and we're not gonna stand for that. Now, I just, I wanna, say that a lot of people are saying, oh, this is unfair, this is ridiculous. i just like to point out the fact that, what if it was me? Do you think they would even consider that as an option? Or do you think they would just remove my channel? So that's why I wanted to preface this video with all of this stuff right here, right? Because this is all background information. This all shows uh, things happen on various social medias and they boil over to YouTube. It affects all of us. Sponsorships get pulled, things like that. Very negative stuff happens. But I want to tell you just exactly how my career was destroyed, just like many of these people's careers are being destroyed by YouTube. Back in 2016, you can see just exactly the shift where I was getting views in the thousands of hundreds of thousands and how they throttled down and down and down and down over the years. You can literally watch it happen. 
Now, I'm going to take you back just a little bit further, and we're going to revisit this here in a minute. Back in, I want to say, when my career was really starting, I had decided to quit AK Steel and become a full-time YouTuber, and I was making pretty good money, around $2,000 a month. I could survive on that. Uh, I didn't have a house. I was renting an apartment, had one car, and not a lot of bills. So things were going pretty good for me. I had a lot of extra money to invest and build my future. Back then, I got copyright claimed by somebody claiming to own Missing No. You know, the glitched Pokemon that was created from Pokemon Red and Blue. Yeah, that Missing No. Uh, because I used it in a video. Now, not even going into the fact that fair use exists, but once you alter art to a certain point, it is fair use, and there's many court cases that will cite this. You can see them, you can understand them, and that the judge has ruled, hey, this person edited the art, it is no longer your art. A lot of artists aren't going to like that, but these are the same artists who will take Pokemon from a company that owns Pokemon and will do their own interpretations of these Pokemon and then claim that that's their art. Well, they upload it on public servers where anyone can right-click save as, right? Let me go ahead and fast forward a little bit. After getting through that DMCA, that copyright claim, uh, I had the Game Theorist and the JWiz do a collaboration where they basically stole a theory of mine. It, this was when I was really blowing up. I think I had around 70,000 subscribers, and I was really getting up there, man. And they just took this theory and basically got all these views, didn't give any type of mention to me, even though it was worded very, very similar. The script structure was very, very similar. It was as if they viewed my video and put it together. After I messaged the game theorist, he apologized that I felt a certain way, but he claimed that he had no hand in it, that Jay Woods did it all. Then when I messaged the Jay Woods, he claimed that he didn't take any bit of my video, he did it all himself, and this, that, and the other. But he was very short in his message, and he didn't provide me any evidence that he did it himself. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. This is stuff that happened years ago. I'm only bringing it up because it contributes to the throttling of my channel. So that began a great war and a great split between me and big YouTubers like the Jay Woods and the Game Theorist at the time. I still don't like them, and I don't think I ever will. I promise you, I feel that they stole my video, used it, gave me no credit, and just took it because it was a quick and easy video. There's plenty of videos out there exposing the Game Theorist for stealing theories. This wouldn't be a surprise to me. Fast forward a little bit further, and I'm getting ready to move into a new house, and I get DMCA'd by a random kid. I believe it was Naruto, of all people. Yeah, you know, the manga character. Sure. Uh, he said he accidentally DMCA'd me. You know, you can accidentally fuck with someone's career. That's all. That's, a, that's nothing big, right? Wow. Well, anyways, he removed the DMCA, but not after about a week, maybe two weeks. So, yeah, that was extremely stressful and, and really crappy. But then the apocalypse hits. The Paul brothers are at it again, doing really stupid stuff, exposing dead bodies, hanging in the suicide forest, and basically YouTube says, no, that's bad, and we're going to DMCA a bunch of people because these companies, they don't want to advertise with us anymore let alone that they advertise on movies that are extremely violent. How many times have you gone to a movie and you've seen places like Coca-Cola start up right before the movie and, and they had this whole long two-minute pre-roll of people drinking Coca-Cola, enjoy a Coke with your movie, and then the movie comes on and it's, it's like the, the movie starts and someone's getting their head blown off with a shotgun, right? There's blood and guts everywhere. There's a guy saying, you better kill me now or I'm going to come back and I'm going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Really? When they advertise on places like HBO, Skinamax, they do late night advertising, okay? I get where you're coming from. You want the money. But that apocalypse basically destroyed my career on YouTube. I was able to do very, very well that year only because of Pokemon Go coming out. And when I moved to Ashland, that's when Pokemon Go really released. And it got me a lot of a lot of popularity. It got me a lot of views and made me the most money I have ever made in my lifetime on YouTube, which was great. But at the end of the day, 
in exchange for a bulk rate of money, the rest of my time on YouTube has been nothing but a roller coaster ride down. There's been barely any breakout videos for me. So my question to you, ladies and gentlemen, is what could I do better? What could I do better that YouTube would say, this guy is worthy of promotions. This guy is worthy of getting our algorithm and letting him get into people's sub boxes. Because I say this after I commented on a couple videos talking about people just being destroyed by the algorithm. And I got lots of replies from people saying, I didn't know you existed still. I didn't even know you were around, Proto. I got unsubscribed from you. I, I stopped getting your videos in my sub box randomly. The algorithm doesn't show me your videos anymore. And I just thought you were gone. So originally, I thought it was me. I thought I needed to kick up my editing and I've been learning to do new things with editing a lot. I've been taking some new measures like trying out a webcam here. What could I do that, that would actually have the algorithm pick up my videos and deliver them to people's sub boxes? You let me know and I, I'd really appreciate it if you did like and share this video despite YouTube probably not sharing it. And I would appreciate it if you subscribe. At some point in time, it would be my life's work to reach 1 million subscribers. And hopefully I reach it before I die. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's me. That's Proto Mario. I'm signing out. As always, good gaming. God bless. And thank you for taking time out to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.